Hey, hey y'all. Welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? All right. Do you see this right here? I just made this. This is, I guess, called cheesy salsa, cheesy sausage pasta or skillet or whatever you want to call it. Something like that. So let's give you a little close up. And there's also broccoli in there. All right, so let's dig in. I don't know, I guess I'll use a fork. So this sausage that's in here is Cajun andouille sausage. And then I got the little shells and then we got broccoli seasonings there's a bunch of goodness in here let me use a big spoon and get you a close-up i won't be eating off of this spoon it's too big see all that steam literally just came off don't fall off sausage well you can't really see it all right let's dig in so this is what's for supper tonight what are you guys eating? My hair's kind of cut off. So in this, I use sharp cheddar cheese and Monterey Jack cheese. And then I love the Creole, the Cajun sausages. They're so good. And then it has like flour, half and half, butter. So how are you guys doing? How has your week been? Anything new going on? Exciting, fun, not fun? Something you gotta work on? I'm doing pretty all right. Some good news is work is going pretty good, surprisingly. A little fakeness, but I don't know, was worse fakeness or straight out being a bitch? I don't know. Not from me, from like the managers and stuff. But as long as you ain't in my personal space interrupting my energy, I don't care. You can do what you do. So yeah, this is super cheesy, creamy. It's really good. Alright, so I thought today we would do, I don't know, just some random like get to know me questions. One of the questions is, would you rather have 10 hobbies or one passion? And so I thought about that a little bit. And now it's always good to have, to have both hobbies and passions. But I feel like if I had one passion like something like the number one thing you're most passionate about in life. Get you up out of bed every morning. You don't want to go to sleep at night. You constantly think about it. You constantly work on it. That's what I would want. One passion to conquer the world. Conquer whatever. It can make you money. be something you invest in that will invest in you back in the future <clears throat> and I feel like I would put all I would want to put all my time money energy everything into just one thing like truly invest in something So I would definitely pick one passion over 10 hobbies. What 
some bite with all of it on. All right, the next question is, what's the current TV show that I'm watching? Here's my water again, I got Crystal Light Lemonade. This is so good. <clears throat> so the TV show that I'm currently watching, now don't make fun of me if you've seen this. It's called Dynasty. And it's on Netflix. And I think the reason I like it is I feel like most of the characters work in it. It's just drama filled. Sometimes you don't expect half the stuff that happens on there to happen. It's just so funny. So let me know if you've seen Dynasty on Netflix before or not. <clears throat> it takes a lot for me to get into a TV show. So I like the drama ones. Because I don't have drama in my life. Which is perfectly fine. I don't want any. So I feel like... watching some sh some shows like that is like oh my god my life was like that It'd be crazy next question is what is one uh professional skill that i'm currently trying to work on because what most of you know now like what I've been through at work and that I'm always you know just self development self improvement always look at this I love when my sausage is brown so good so one professional skill that I'm working on and it can be personal too, but mostly professional right now. Because I'm working on being more vulnerable and I guess asking for help when I either really know that I need it or don't want to admit that I need it. So definitely vulnerability. Because I'm not the type of person that <clears throat> likes to admit they need help and stuff. I don't like that. I don't like feeling weak or feeling like I can't do something on my own. <clears throat> I can't figure something out. Like, I just hate it. And I'm like that in my personal life, too. Like, if I can't figure something out, it really makes me mad. So, trying to work on being vulnerable, asking for help. Cause it would definitely make my life easier at work. <clears throat> Instead of them having to ask, are you okay? Do you need anything? No, I don't. Leave me alone. But. I guess, you know. Just the independence in me. I hate asking. Admitting when I'm wrong type stuff. It doesn't necessarily make you weak, but it makes me feel weak. Mm -hmm. The last question is, when I retire, oh, this is something else. So I found out in Florida, if you work for the state of Florida for 30 years, you can retire. Well, I'm almost two years in, so I got 28 years. Hmm. 
So when I retire in 28 years, where do I want to live? <clears throat> I just really don't know. Because a lot can happen in 28 years. I might not even be in the country in 28 years. Who knows? If I had the option to retire out of the country, oh yeah. Now don't ask me where because I haven't explored anywhere. <clears throat> but it would definitely be somewhere beautiful, warm climate, water, amazing food. So whatever place is like that outside of the country, I would go. If I had to live in the U.S. and retire, see, I don't like the cold, so nowhere really up north, because I hate snow. I lived with it for 31 years. Or I would say like Colorado or something, but <clears throat> it'll probably be like Tennessee, and not like Gatlinburg. I'm talking like. Where nobody is. Carolinas. Maybe some parts of Georgia, but definitely <clears throat> probably still on the west on the east coast. Definitely a more chill vibed non touristy state like the one I've chosen to live in right now. Mm -mm. Not that, I mean, I love Florida, but talk about being busy. <clears throat> so let me know if you make this. It has, you can use any kind of shells, any kind of sausage, broccoli. I use sharp cheddar, Monterey Jack, made your own, made my own like rouge sauce with the flour and the butter. Pretty decent meal. I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. If you guys have any questions for me, drop them down below. If you have any foods you want me to maybe look into cooking, let me know. Restaurants, whatever. Just let me know. But I hope y'all are doing amazing. Hope your week's amazing. And just try to stay as positive as you can because your current situation is not going to last forever. It's temporary, trust me. So you will get over whatever hurdle you're dealing with. And I will see you guys on the next video.